Hi guys, uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, so what we're doing today is um, working on our RV. Um, I have a video on my channel, which I'll put the link in the description below, of a tour I did of this RV not long after we had gotten it. And, um, and we are pretty much at the halfway point, I would say. Um, now when I say we have been working on it, it's really been mostly my husband. He has done a lot to this RV. I've helped out what little I could, but this is mostly his area of expertise. Um, so, so yeah, um, we're excited. And when we reach the end point, I'll probably do another video and have him on here detailing everything that he's done to this RV because it's such a long list. There's no way I could remember it all, but there's been a lot done to it. Um, and the reason too why it's taken so long is this isn't the only project we've been working on. So, so it's, it's been taking us a while to get this RV um, done. Oh, and my cat just ran in. Hey, Tom Tom. <laughs> my cat just ran in. They consider this their little home, too. <laughs> but um, but I'm going to show y'all what it looks like right now. Um, it's going to look a little weird because um, the cabinet doors are out, the furniture's out. That's actually what we're working on today is we are um, cleaning the furniture. Um, we're eventually going to reupholster it. But for right now, we just want to at least have it ready for the road for a trip we're about to take it on. We're about to take it on its maiden voyage, and it's not going to be done by the time we take it on its maiden voyage, but it should be done enough where hopefully it'll at least just be usable. Um, so for right now, we're just thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly cleaning the furniture um, until we eventually reupholster it. But, um, so yeah, the furniture's gonna be out, the, uh, cabinets are out, but I want to show you too, my husband just finished, like, painting everything, um, cause, um, I'll show you, I'll show you the, well, I'm sorry, I'll put a link in the description for that past video, and it's just such a huge difference, just a simple thing like paint, and, like, cheap white paint makes such a difference, and yesterday we just got flooring, so we're soon gonna be putting in new flooring, um, because, it was ugly, like shaggedy carpet in here. Um, cause this is, um, an RV from the eighties. I think it's a 85, I believe it's a Nissan Huntsman. And, um, so it was a very 80s style. It was like dark wood paneling it looked like and uh, carpet floors. So just a simple thing like cheap vinyl flooring and cheap white paint paint will make such a difference. It looks so different in here. It already looks so much more open and, bigger it looks like a bigger space so so yeah let me show you guys what we're doing okay you guys this is right when you walk in um i'm not gonna show you much of the outside because we haven't done anything to the outside yet that'll come later um but yeah everything is definitely it's definitely gonna look like right in the middle of a remodeling stage um so so yeah it's it's coming along though you guys and if i show you the or if you watch my other video, you'll see already such a huge difference. And I love it. Hey, your Tom Tom. Do you think this is your home? Do you think this is your house? This isn't your house. <laughs> it is your house. Um, so yeah, let's go on in and we'll look at everything. But like I said, it it definitely just looks like in the middle of a remodeling phase and that's exactly what it is um my husband even painted the inside of the cabinets um and as you can see the ugly wallpaper is gone um i helped some with that with getting off the wallpaper that was not an easy task but even that my husband had to help me with because because it was is being stubborn we finally found out um that it just needed heat so we got a um hair dryer to it and that helped it come off a lot easier but everything else my husband has done my husband did ceiling work um really just in the areas where the skylights are like right there above the bed he like replaced some of the ceiling that was really about the only spots where there were any water damage which was a lot of work but we were actually kind of blessed because i've seen a lot of rvs where everything had water damage where people had to replace all the walls Ours wasn't that bad. Ours just had water damage in where there were skylights. So my husband replaced the skylights, replaced the ceiling, and then like the whole bathroom needed to be replaced. The The entire bathroom in here was water damage. Um, and he did replace all of the walls and everything in here. But um, but yeah, everything else was, was fine. 
my goodness. So yeah, you guys, look at all the white. I love the white. The white looks so pretty. And then the carpet is out. This is where we're going to put the, um, the new vinyl flooring we got. And we just got that yesterday at Lowe's. So you guys, look at what a difference. He's painted every, he painted the ceiling. It, it already looks so much better to me. I am super excited, you guys. And we're excited because we really hope we can get this right. It's like, we're kind of rushing right now a little bit because our trip is in like 20 days. So we're just trying to get it just ready enough to just take on our trip. Um, so, like, I don't think he's going to be able to paint the doors by our trip, so it's kind of looking a little weird. We'll have to wait until we come back to paint the doors if we don't get enough time. But, but yeah, I'm just excited for everything that's been done here. Steve and my husband will have to tell y'all in a later video what all he's done to this thing because it's a lot that he's done, and I'm super, super proud of him. Oh, and he got a new piece of plywood. I don't think he's put it in yet, but he's replacing this bed piece right here, so... So yeah, there's good. I'm excited about this thing because it's pretty much going to be like brand new once we're done with it, but maybe, maybe actually better quality than brand new. Um, I don't know. We'll have to go into detail over the pros of this RV and why we chose a vintage one. Um, once it's fully done, we might go into detail with that with y'all and go over why we chose this and what a great deal it actually is. But you guys, I'm super excited. <laughs> Hi guys, so um, we are coming back in for lunch um, at our house, um, and so you might be hearing my husband moving around and making his lunch and stuff, um, but I decided not to shoot us doing the cleaning stuff just because my husband's uncomfortable with that, and it's just, it's too time consuming. We're trying to focus on getting this stuff clean, so I'll just tell y'all what all we're doing. We are um, determined to make sure all of our furniture is thoroughly cleaned. We're wanting to... Uh, almost like put them through a washing machine just about we're like hosing them down a ton and then we're putting shout on them which kind of cleans and also just helps with um with any stains on them and then it smells good and then we're scrubbing with these hardcore uh cleaning brushes and then um and then we're putting cleaning salts on them hosing them down again hosing it some and cleaning them again and then we might go through that cycle again we're doing that for each piece of furniture because we my husband's like a little bit of a germaphobe too which is great in these kind of scenarios because we are thoroughly making sure that these um pieces of furniture are clean as possible i mean they should be super clean and i love it too because between that like the cleaning chemicals we're using are making them smell really good so between that and like paint in the whole place it's going to make the RV smell like brand new. So I love that. And it should be very sanitized. And I might even, after we're done with all this, I might even, <clears throat> excuse me, go over them with Lysol and just spray them down with Lysol too. We're just making sure that they are thoroughly clean. Um, we're cleaning like the foam mattress that was on the bed too. Thoroughly, thoroughly clean, cleaning it. Um, and then eventually, like I said, one day down the line, we're going to re a lot of this furniture, but until then, we're making sure they're thoroughly, thoroughly clean. Um, so yeah, it's a little, um, tiring, but exciting too, doing jobs like this, we, we love because it, we love what we're working towards, like, so, so yeah, it's fun. Um, but yeah, we're coming in to eat right now, grabbing sunscreen. We forgot sunscreen, so I'm afraid I might get sunburnt some, so we're going to make sure we sunscreen before we head back out and do it again. Okay, so I thought we were doing plywood for the top bed, but no, we uh, needed a new piece of plywood for this bed, which is also a couch. Um, so that's what we just did. Um, the furniture that we just cleaned is sitting out in the sun right now, drying. Uh, so they all should be good and clean now. Um, they're, just, they're just still going to be discolored from the years of sitting in the sun. And yeah, so they definitely need to be reupholstered one day. But, um, but they should be at least good and clean now for us to at least use in the meantime. And so now what we're doing is um, we're going to peel back some tape where, um, where it's been painted. Um, it's not 
still still not fully done painted. We're going to leave the bottom tape because the bottom still needs to be repainted. Because we painted keels like the, you know, primer. That also just helps sanitize and helps with any smells. And then um, he did like a few coats of paint too. So, so yeah, we're just, I decided I'm, we're just going to do the walls and cabinets white. Um, except maybe the bottom cabinets. I might one day down the line do the bottom cabinets a gray. But, um. But yeah, everything else is pretty much going to be white. And that really just, I mean, my gosh, what a difference, y'all. Um, I really hope you go back and watch that other video just to see the difference. Um, especially once it's all done and I have the doors on here. It's going to look so different. It just It's going to look so much bigger and cleaner and just so much more open at being white instead of the dark um, wood look. So I just love it so much. And I just, I like that plywood too. It just looks pretty. It just looks clean and new. I like it. Just it's gonna feel like brand new in here, you guys, and we're super excited.